Albatrosses are amazing, but don't take it from me. Take it from my girl, Wisdom, here. Wisdom is the oldest known bird in the wild. She was tagged in 1956 with that little anklet on her. Z333 is her number. And it's believed that she was hatched in 1951, making her well over 70 years old. Now, there are 22 species of albatross, and Wisdom is one of the smaller ones. Wisdom's a laysan albatross. She's got a wingspan of about six feet. There is one called the wandering albatross. This has the largest wingspan of any bird alive, clocking in at nearly 12 feet, tip to tip. Now with those wings, the albatross is the king of the sky. Nobody can really compete with them. While they can't go exceptionally fast, they top out at about 50 miles an hour, they go far. How far? There's reports of one albatross traveling 49,700 miles without ever touching land. How do they do it? Well, they've developed specialized gliding techniques that require less energy and less muscle to fly. Matter of fact, they can go days without even flapping their wings. Now, while albatrosses are pretty good in the air, getting to the air and coming down from the air can be a bit of a problem. They need some wind in order to take off, and if there's not any, it can take them quite a while to get off the ground, to get enough lift to get into the air, and since they don't really land all that often, crash landings are not uncommon. Now, albatrosses generally mate for life. I mean, there's some exceptions to that rule, but we're speaking in generalities here. They can live and raise chicks well into their 60s. Now, courtship for the Laysan albatross, that's what wisdom was, is kind of crazy. They can have up to 25 ritualistic dance moves that they do for one another. Now, after they pick a mate, that's when they build the nest. The incubation period for albatross eggs is about 62 to 66 days, and the male and female both take turns sitting on the eggs until the young hatch. Now, the chicks spend four to five months at the nest while mom and dad go out and search for food. They can be gone for up to 17 days and travel 1,600 miles in search of food for their young. But unfortunately, if there's a shortage of food, the young may be sacrificed so the parents can live to reproduce the next year. I know it's sad, just the way it goes for albatrosses. So I don't know about y'all, but doing research for this, albatrosses are super cool. I mean, they can travel around the globe in 60 days and they can smell food on the water up to 12 miles away. Hey, everybody who watched, I really appreciate it. Drop me a comment, smash that subscribe button. Tell me what you want to see in the future. The more you know.